Right, welcome to um, our sunflower video. And uh, this is going to be a lovely, colourful project to do. Um, I've bought some sunflowers. Uh, nice to actually get some. And uh, at the moment, so it's the end of August actually, so there's plenty in the shops and they're not that expensive, which is great. Um, uh, looking at the, the flower, you've got a lovely sort of circle of gorgeous dark and then you've got all these petals which just come out and sometimes when we're painting them or when I've painted them before, I haven't realised actually how many petals there are that come out. And then you've got these few sort of leaves and things that just sort of twist and turn. You've got these little bits which are nice as well. Um, so it's nice to actually have the subject in front of you a little bit. So I've got the sunflowers just to the side of me. And I haven't done a sketch um, as yet. And I'm not planning on doing a sketch. All I'm planning on doing is actually doing a few little circles. So I've, I'm going to have one here. And it's sort of going to be facing that way, that way. And then I'm going to have another one here, which I sort of is, I'm wanting that to be quite round maybe. And that's the one which I'm wanting to sort of be facing straight at me. Just rubbing that round. So a nice sort of circle of that one. And I might for that one just have a little bit of, a couple of little petals coming over that, that way, just on that one. And then this one, I'm just sort of going to be having that one at the side as well, facing this way. So this one is going to face that way. That one is hopefully going to face that way. And this one is going to hopefully face down. That's the idea. So all I've done is the circles. And I just want to show you, because I was having a little practice run uh, yesterday, um, sort of thinking about what I was doing. And I did this little practice. So this is just the first stage but I wanted to show you this. So um, what I did, I've done the circles of the sunflowers with gorgeous colours. Try to keep little bits of white on them. That's the, that is quite an important factor. And then I've just put the, the yellow down and then um, I've actually used some cling film. And I know some of you don't like cling film and but I've... Uh, and, if, you, if you're feeling a little bit that you need to recycle your cling film, do. I do. Um, I've got lots of little sections like this pulled and torn. So just little bits of cling film. Not big bits, just little bits. Because what we're going to do is we're going to actually put them around the flower. But you'll see that later on. Um, and uh, what's the colours that I've used as well. Um, I've used some quinacridone gold or indian indian yellow i think is mine no it's not indian gold so i've got indian gold but if you've got quinacridone gold that's absolutely brilliant that's the one of the main colors then i've got some cadmium yellow lovely cadmium yellow and i've used these for the petals um, and also in in the center i've used i started with the indian gold then I went to some burnt sienna and uh, some ultramarine violet and some indigo. And I also used a touch of the uh, Indian ink, the black Indian ink, just a little bit in there. Now, if you don't have any of that, you don't need any Indian ink, but that was just what I've done. And I'm just going to show you a couple of other little sunflower pictures that I've done. I, did, I think I did these last year. So I'll move this one out of the way. I've done that little one, so quite nice and loose. And with this one, I actually used, on the centre, I used some um, wax. So you could try a little bit of wax. I put some wax just on the centre section, just where the light is especially. I'll do that on one today. Uh, and then I painted actually these very much as the, just literally just placing them and doing it nice and loose having a play and that's what the sunflowers is all about 
and uh, now then which way is my bee go that way I think <laughs> so that was another one and this is just on scraps of paper um, that I sometimes have spare I bet yeah so I just often use just little scraps of paper just trying out different ideas um, again just you can put like you say it's quite nice having a little bee um, and then this one which is very different this was actually before I grew some last year and this is before they actually flowered and uh, trying to get with the greens and everything and I just went straight in with the um, the paint I don't sketch I just go straight in and trying to figure it out but having the subject in front of you I find makes all the difference so let's get going um and I think what I'll what I'll do I'll start on this one over here and I've got a uh, what's this uh, number six brush and I'm going to go straight in with some of the uh, Indian gold so uh, I'm just dampening this little bit just with some water and then I'm going to get some nice dark so I'm going to get some burnt sienna and some of the ultramarine violet Sort of going around and this you're going to be really chuffed at this this painting it's a nice just going to try a little bit of this indigo just to see uh, a bit more burnt sienna so this is just and actually i think i do quite like that indigo as well just get a little bit more in there it's just a bit too black So I'm not mixing any colours, I'm actually letting them mix. On the paper. Just a little bit more of that. Uh, of the Indian gold, I'm just going to give it a little spray. Touch more, just a touch more of this uh, indigo, I think. Just a little bit for me. And I don't think I need any black in this. I think it's actually all right, I think. So that's gone in quite dark with that indigo. Right. So that's that little bit done. Dead easy. Now I'm going to go to the yellow. So my cadmium yellow. And I could even go to a slightly bigger brush. I'm just going to go to, you know, my little Chinese one. It's about a, a size eight. See what this is like. So I just want to get some colour on. And this is really just to... So we're really having an absolute play with these sunflowers. Now this painting might not come out the one that you're doing first of all but what hopefully is going to do is sort of give you ideas on painting the sunflowers and then I'm just getting some water and just so this is what I sort of did yesterday when I was having a bit of a play and seeing what I could do So very loosely, just quickly getting that into there. And I'm not bothered about these. This is what I want to happen. And I think by having this, the gold next door to some of this, it can just blend in quite nicely. So I'm just using that smaller brush. And I've just got a little bit of gold as well, just on there, not much.
and I'm just going to place just a few stronger sections of the yellow a little bit more of the gold maybe so it's all still wet now if it isn't wet just give it a little bit of a spray let's put in a little bit more of the yellow And you know, I just sort of went round like this to start with, just to sort of soften it if there was any hard lines. And now I'm going to just put some of the cling film on. So what I'm going to do is sort of do it in a bit of a circle. I don't know where I have my cling film ideas from. And some sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I'm sort of getting the cling film and then straightening it like this, then putting it down in as though it's in a clock going round. So I'm missing some sections out. I'm not doing them all. So I'm just making sure I've got some more. So I want this to go on while it's still wet. And you can... When you're doing your, your cling film, you know, you can you can sort of help it tease it along a little bit just to give some shapes. So quickly get that this on. So I'm going right the way around. Maybe just put a little bit stronger colour just in here. You, you could paint this in a different way. You could paint this, a, you know, in a much more detailed, which is brilliant. And, uh, you know, if you do, I look forward to because everybody's sunflowers are going to come out differently. Uh, and I really look forward to seeing how yours come out. And, uh, you know, you might have got two or three of these. So I'm just going round like a clock. Another little bit. And finally, another bit. So not much cling film that we're using, just that little bit. I might just get another bit in there actually. And I might just put a touch more colour in. So it's still wet. So uh, just into that little bit there. Because they really have got lots and lots of gorgeous petals that, in some ways, are far too many to paint. So we just want to, it's like foliage. We don't want to always paint all of the trees, every single foliage. And this is the same with painting petals. We maybe don't want to paint every single one. So what the cling film will do is it will give gorgeous shapes like these so that when we come to do in our next section which we're going to do we can actually put a little bit more detail in not much but it'll just make it jump out right one final thing is i'm just gonna do a tiny bit of splattering oh you're gonna really you're gonna really enjoy this i i love painting like this i think it's it's fantastic so I'm just putting the paint on the back of my little palette knife and I've got some indigo, some burnt sienna and then I'm going to literally do that with it like that and it's still just slightly damp. That's a bit of a, but I think it'd be all right. 
Right, there we go. That is one sunflower done. Let's move on and we might do might do this one as well. Next. So starting again, and it was the um the Indian gold, first of all. And then some of your burnt sienna. And you can just add a little bit of uh, red into this. I just think it sort of like slightly warms it a little bit. And then I'm going to have a bit more dark. So just having little flecks of white are so, so lovely. Just dampening that with a water spray. And then I'm just going to put this little bit. So it's quite strong as this paint. I'm using it. I'm not mixing it. It's straight out of the palette. Right, so back into the, the yellow. So I'm just straight into the gorgeous. You see, you want to think that you want to paint every, sometimes. Every uh, petal, I'm just placing this around. And then I'm going to dampen, going out. So I'm sort of dampening it again in this clock. And you can put a little bit of colour as well in there if you want. A bit more colour in here maybe. And then just swap into a smaller brush. Just touching into some of them little bits. Again, back into some of that Indian gold. Just into that little edge just there. And what we want, we want these little bits to sort of, as though they're running away. And I'm just going to, in this one, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of Indian ink. Let's see what it does. So I use this neat. I just pop my brush in. And then just paint on just a little bit. But it blends with the uh, watercolour really lovely and creates some really quite interesting patterns. Right, let that do its thing. And then I'm just going to go and get some clean water. So I'm just going to pause you for a minute. Right, and then I'm uh, just going to do some more of the, uh, the tape. I'm just going to, so I wanted some clean water because it was getting a bit dirty. I wanted to get some more yellow into here. And a little bit more just down here hopefully because this is sort of facing downwards I might just get a little bit of something going on right, are we ready for the cling film 
so again just placing it around and if you like I've looked at that and I thought you know that isn't doing the shape I want it to do so I'm just going to remove that little section and just go back down again with it that's better so I'm really I'm doing it in the the shape so one more and another one so really working this clock And I'm just sort of thinking now, am I going to put any greens in at this moment? And uh, which I did on the other one. And I don't know if I am on this one. I might just not. I might keep it with just these colours, which really do look quite nice. Um, one more bit of cling film. going to put a little bit more colour into here right and that's that's that so we've just got a final one down in this bottom bit and uh, sort of going somewhere around here. I've actually done a pencil line down there, but I'm, I'm not going to put it there. I just want to remove that. So, got that. And uh, back in again with the quinacridone. And uh, just sort of concentrate a little bit more on this one. So... Sometimes it's best when you don't concentrate fully and you're just fairly loose. Uh, I'm just popping a little bit of water into there. You know, you might even get a few little cauliflowers, which, you know, could really work with this. So back into the burnt sienna. So I'm just painting this. So that's just the burnt sienna nearly, just by itself then. And uh, into the indigo and a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, ultramarine violet. I'm just going to put a little bit more. So I'm sort of mixing it a bit on the paper. Not I haven't done any mixing at all in my palette. So and uh, tell you what, a bit, a little bit stronger indigo, just uh, not indigo, the gold, just round the edge of that dark. And that's so that when the yellow touches it, it's the Indian gold that it that we, we get it touches onto more than the real dark. So I'm just going around here again just with the yellow. Very loose is this, isn't it, today? It's quite nice to be free though. And I'm stood up, but you don't have to stand up. But sometimes standing up, I always think you've you, you've got more movement in your in your arm. So I'm just going round now, so you can see I'm washing my brush, and I'm just going picking up the paint. I'm 
I'm sort of going over that cling film a little bit just to sort of make them up. Going right the way around, hopefully a little bit more yellow. The best bit is taking the cling film off, I think. So again, some of this gorgeous Indi uh, Indian gold, just in that little bottom bit. And then I'm going to get a touch more yellow. And just touch into this little bit so they just pull together. And the colours just spread quite nice up the... Uh, so I'm just... So I have no idea what this is going to come out like. Hopefully it's going to come out all right. So back into some of the cling film and I'll just put some of this on and come back to you. Right, so I've completely gone round with the cling film. Uh, as you can see, and uh, I might just put one little bit just in here maybe. So what the cling film does, it it that gives a, a harder line, um, which is quite nice. It gives it another tone. Uh, I'm just painting a little bit of colour just in there. And then I'm just going to put this on. And that's that. And then just into the centre of here, I'm just going to add uh, some of the, the burnt sienna uh, and a little bit of the indigo. Might even put a little bit of red on there. And I'm just going to do a little bit more onto here. You can do this with a toothbrush. Um, I never get away with a toothbrush. I find that this is better but that's just for me uh, you know you might find it really works quite well for yourself and if it does just do it whatever works stick with it oops stick with it she says and she's got all blobs so what do you do when you get some of those why not just give it a little bit of a, just a bit of a colour wash. So sometimes it's those happy accidents that actually just sometimes can help, really help. You think, How did, why did I do that? It worked quite well. Let's put a little bit in there. Right, so I'm going to let this dry and uh, I probably, I might leave it overnight and uh, we'll come back and we will see how it goes and I look forward to seeing the next little stage. So if you've enjoyed that first little section of uh, painting the sunflowers and uh, you'd like to see how I get to uh, this stage which is uh, just about finished, I think, um, then uh, what I would suggest is you uh, you click on the Jane Ward uh, website. So it's www.janeward.co.uk and then you get to this little bit. I've got my uh, little tablet here. And, uh, whoops, let's turn it around, get it the right way. You come to the page and then uh, you just need to either go to menu or you can just scroll down and uh, you can go to the monthly tutorials, which is at the bottom. And you can click on that. Hopefully it goes through and that gets you to the monthly tutorials. 
and I've done uh, quite a few different ones um, and you'll see them all there and what they include the tutorials um, they do the full videos which is a step-by-step -step. they're usually about a good hour long and uh, I show the show you exactly how I get from the beginning through to the end of the painting working nice and easily I also send a word document through by email and that has the full written instructions along with photographs uh, showing the obviously including the material list and everything else and then at the end of the um, the tutorial if you would like to uh, sh send me a photograph of your painting of the sunflowers um, I do a little bit of feedback and uh, I do find that this has really helped I, I started the online courses years and years ago and uh, I got the idea actually from John Ruskin uh, a famous artist who used to live in the Lake District and uh, he used to do this type of tutorial or type of feedback but it was all written obviously in those days because I think we're talking about the uh, 18th century but I sort of thought it would be nice that people could uh, do the online course and then send back and get some feedback because we don't often get feedback about our paintings especially when we're beginning and uh, I've really found that the feedback is great. I love to see the paintings and hear how you're getting on. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a nice thing. So the, the tutorial, I tend to do them once a month. And uh, the £10, that's £10 in English money if you're uh, maybe somewhere else. And uh, you can pay for it all, I think, through PayPal. There's a little link. And uh, if you've got any problems, just send me an email. It's uh, lakelandart at uk, And uh, I look forward to uh, hearing from you. And uh, I do hope that you've enjoyed this little video. Okay, see you soon. Happy painting.